Hello! In this session, I will go over how to track and measure your objectives in scale. So I've just clicked on the Objective tab, and this is the information that I see. In the top, I can see that this is the Web Order Agile Release Train, and that we're at the fifth program increment. If I want to change this view or swap to another art, I can just click the drop down menu to the top right and select a different one. If I expand the menu for the program increment 5, I can then see that I've already added three different PI objectives. Let's add a fourth one to this PI. I do that by clicking the top here on New Objective. I then get prompted to choose a title. So I wrote increase conversion rates with 5%. In this case, it's a stretch objective and it's been given a planned business value of six. As you can see now, the other ones aren't stretch objectives, they are committed objectives. And the total is at 24. So when I, when I add this stretch objective, it won't get added to the planned business value. All right. So now we're reaching the end of an increment and we're assigning the actual business value. So let's edit some of these objectives. Let's say the first one reached was planned nine and reached an actual business value of nine. As I do this, you will see that the achievement percentages increase. Let's add another one to this one. And now we're at 71% because we had the planned business value of 24 and we have an actual business value of 17. You can also track objectives through work items in scale. You can do that by clicking on the three dots here and then you can add link. Scale will then look at the board and this PI to find the work items on the board. And if I want to link anything to a specific feature or user story, I can just multi-select it like this. So in this case, I've chosen three features that I want to track to. I click on add. As you can see now, we have been given more data to show here. If I press expand on this PI objective, I can see that it currently tracks these three features. So if I would change the state of a particular feature, that's considered to be delivered. Let's change this one to closed. We can see that we have gotten or completed 33% of this particular objective. So this is a nice way to track and measure how things are coming along within your PI planning sessions or PI planning period. You can do the same thing in Teams. And in this case, I already have two objectives and with the same thing I can add planned business value, actual business value and I can also link to work items on the team board. This is how objective works in scale and good luck with your next PI planning session. Thank you for watching.